Hello, welcome to Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Today I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard to make envelopes. I have <laughs> um, watched several videos and searched several times on how to use this tool and I have not until this point been able to not figure it out but to make it click for me something about everything that was happening was not clicking for me and I will put the links to the descriptions that actually um, helped me the most to figure um, to finally get this proper um, so I'm just taking um, a sheet of cardstock there and cutting it down to be a six by six so this product I actually really enjoy we are memory keepers this was one of the first uh, items that I bought for junk journaling and I didn't know what I was getting beside the scoreboard I didn't really understand um, that tools could be multifunctional um, in this realm so this uh, guide here slides out and it comes with a foam folder or um, a folding tool scoring tool so, okay, <laughs> the, the one, the video that helped me the most, I think, was the Martha Stewart um, scoreboard envelope making. That's the one that I finally started to understand what was happening. So just to look at the paper here, we have a six by six. And it says on here, to make an envelope this is this is what we're looking at here the envelope okay so the paper size right here says six by six so our card size is three and a half by three and a half and our alignment is three and that is where it ended for me I did not understand what any of that meant. And yes, there is literally how-to instructions right here, but something was not clicking for me. So it says alignment marks right here. So this is this is the aha moment. It doesn't have to go like this. It can move down here. And that is the point where I was I was like, oh my gosh, I get it. <laughs> okay, so it says alignment marks, right? And we have our paper is six by six. So alignment is at three. So I was doing this. I'm like, how do I get this at three? And then how do I score across the score lines? If you saw me, what I was doing, you, you would have laughed for a while, <laughs> to say the least. So, our alignment is at three right here, okay? And you can move this at any point. So the paper is lined up at three. And if you see, the shape of the paper is matching right now. I did not understand that. So we have it at three. See where it says score right there and it has a little notch? Can you see the my tools inside the notch? It's telling you what to do. You score. This seems like probably the dumbest <sighs> problem that I've had <laughs> that has taken so long to understand. And I've, I've searched, I think, more than 10 times. We'll say that, okay? I've searched more than 10 times, but I watch videos that have dated back to when this product was new and I want to say the videos I was watching were up to eight years old okay like I don't understand why it wasn't clicking for me so here we have our score lines maybe you can see better on that side but that's really <laughs> that's the tool that there it is so I'm going to set that aside and I'll show you the size of envelope that it makes. So this is the part that I did understand, um, the basic construction of an envelope. I didn't understand the scoring part. So basically you just nip out these parts here, the part that makes the little triangle kind of to release the pressure um, when you're folding. Also, this 
I believe this is what a punch board would do. And I don't have a punch board. I'm, I'm not against getting a punch board, but I also don't, it's not something I, I'm dreaming of having or anything like that. So I guess I'm kind of middle of the road when it comes to that. I don't, if something comes up where I, you know, it seems appealing, sure. I'm not against it, but at the same time, I'm not looking for one. I like, I like this scoreboard. I know that uh, we are memory keepers. I probably got this at such a good deal because they had come out with the all-in-one tool, which I didn't know about. Um, <laughs> so I probably got that at a really good deal because the other one, the other product was already out. But I am good with that. So you can use, uh, I know a lot of people use score tape. I don't have score tape, but I do have glue. And you just fold three of the sides. So you can choose, obviously, however you you want. I'm just going to choose to do this with the little drop here. And a little bit here. And here. This is so exciting to me. <laughs> I finally can make my own envelopes. And I'm excited to make um, different things, different sizes with uh, this tool. So I'm just going to hold it here for a second and kind of go back to this little um, guide here. So there's envelopes, envelope boxes, which I don't even know what that means, but it seems really exciting and uh, how to on the back for a gift box and it has the base of the box and the lid i am i am so excited about this it's gonna be so fun um okay so this was our paper right six by six and now we have this cute envelope okay this part is where it might go sideways so this may be um learning situation for us here and I'm just using a red paper pad because I really red is my favorite color I think I think I'll do this one's kind of dusty I like it. okay so now my logic here could be completely wrong so I have always adored those little the teeny envelopes so I am going to cut a three by three because half of six I'm just gonna half everything okay so three by three and instead of scoring at the alignment of three on the scoreboard I'm going to score at the alignment of one and a half again I'm just halving everything. If this works, I am going to be so hyped. And this doesn't need to be up in the corner right here. I just, I don't know, I just put it there. So we go at one and a half, which is right here for our alignment. So one and a half. And then we're gonna score on all the sides because that's what it said for the six by six, right? To score at three on all the sides. So one and a half. I've never tried this before. I did try the three by, or uh, sorry, the six by six scoring at the three alignment um, before I turned on the camera and I, was so hyped. I was like, yes, 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 yes. This is happening. I am going to show the world that I am capable of making an envelope. Um, <laughs> I really hope that this helps someone out there. The, You know, there's a million ways to explain something, describe something, 
to people and it it's amazing that it takes just the right way to click to you or just the right voice or just the right visual you know it just takes one sometimes it's just one key word or notion that just oh you know and even though you're watching a video it kind of feels like or reading an article I haven't read articles yes um, even though you're watching a video or reading an article it feels like it was your idea you know even though it's not I'm not claiming this to be my own idea obviously we are memory keepers knew how to do it <laughs> But something about it just completely escaped me. Oh my gosh. Folks, 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 folks. I think I've got it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at me. I'm gluing all wild. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, maybe my trimming was a little off. Maybe I didn't proper fold there, but it's really really cute oh my gosh oh my gosh i did it i did it i made a cute envelope <laughs> i love it and look you just put something little in here hold up a little card oh that is so cute oh my goodness the possibilities are already cycling through my noggin. Okay, so that is all that I have for this video. Just wanted to show you these two um, ideas, well, um, envelopes and using the We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard. Um, but that is all that I have for today. So I'll see you back here next time at Lovely's Crafting Lodge.